For years, there's been rumors going around about when Tupac joined Death Row. So I want to ask you, since you was there, right. um, when Tupac joined Death Row, is it true that some of the Death Row members was jealous when Tupac joined Death Row? Like I told you in the prior interview, of course, those feathers were ruffled. They were ruffled. I mean, if you were the king of something, if you had been the number one guy and then you get knocked down to number two because now you're being replaced, I mean, that's how the business is. I mean, they're always, there's going to be... Um, you know, the top guy, and he's going to sit here for a while, like Nicki Minaj was top, and then Cardi B came in, you got to move over. And, you know, I don't think, uh, you know, some people wanted to move over at that point. It was ruffled feathers, of course. Dre had left already. You know, that was his ex ex exit. Daz wasn't jealous of it. Daz was always, him and Corrupt were always, you know, the, the backseat guys anyway. So, if anything... Dad's ticket is, oh, I'm going to make more money and I can be around Pac. So I don't think um, it was them per se. I mean, you know, was, Snoop was the number one guy. And when Pac came in, he moved him over. And um, like I said, I probably would have some kind of, you know, some feelings, some odd feelings like what, you know. But Suge did his best to make Snoop feel comfortable. Everything that he got for Pac, he got for Snoop. It was nothing different. If a Roy's voice came for Pac, then Snoop got one and Suge got one. If there was an apartment on Wilshire that Pac got, one, got Snoop got one and Suge got one. So his, Snoop might have felt some kind of way, but Suge definitely tried to make him feel as comfortable as possible. Definitely. Right, right. So, um, at that time, I mean, Snoop, he was already doing his thing. He was a multi-platinum artist. You had Dog Pound. Mm -hmm. They was pretty much platinum. So I'm trying to think, Um, okay, you got, um, I'm trying to think of artists that would feel a type of way that Tupac joined. So you got um, Danny Boy, Lady Your Rage. No, okay, so you have some album, people would feel, this is like maybe Rage or maybe other artists about six feet deep or you know, uh, whoever they are, their albums got shelved at this point because a lot of people were waiting in line for the album to come out. Rage was one, and there was a couple other people that were waiting in line for their albums to come out. So now Pac's album is, is taking precedent now. So you have a lot of people. I mean, you had many artists on there. They had maybe like maybe 10, uh, a 10 roster at that point. And Pac's album just took center stage now so i'm sure it was a lot of second third fourth fifth tier people that were you know in their hearts feeling some kind of way like we've been waiting for our album to come out for five years like now we're gonna be shelved even more and Pac is slated to be next it's all eyes on me should get to follow the money how was tupac and suge knight relationship when he first joined like what was the friendship oh like? my god let me tell you about them too <laughs> Suge had this best friend. It was a best friend thing going on with him. Like, I remember, um, like, Suge would always, with Snoop and all them, it was always business, about business. But with Pac, I remember being in Vegas with them prior to the, the you know, the infamous night. And they would be joking uh, about women. I remember we were all in one room. I had my cousins down there. We all went, before we went to 662. And Pac was talking about, you know, when he brings a woman home, you know, he throws the erotic fucking down on that woman and she's going to cook breakfast for him. And, I'm, and I would battle with him. I'm like, nigga, ain't nobody cooking you no breakfast because you put it down. What if she put it down? Nah, she cooking me breakfast. So we were all, it, it should became more of a friend than a boss when Pac came. Because we would have these deep conversations, laugh, talk. He... It's almost like Suge got a best friend at this point, somebody to hang out with. That became his pal. He didn't hang out before with, the, everybody was just the artist, you know, from the beginning. Uh, Dre's, my, you know, Dre's part of you know, the artist, Snoop's the artist, the Doll Pound's the artist, but Pac is my friend. And we're gonna go to this party together and we're gonna hang out and we're gonna laugh. And we're, it became like they, they were chummy at that. It was, it was amazing. I'm like, dang, Suge is our friend. I mean, he, I, he was my brother, but now he's come down to wanting to hang out. 
he still didn't drink, didn't do drugs, didn't smoke, but he became uh, a friend because Pac made it cool to hang out and he wanted to hang out with Pac. 